Okay, hello. Um, so after a couple of requests, I have decided to do a guitar tutorial video for the song Sleepwalker by Judy Byrne. Um, this is the first guitar tutorial video I've ever tried to do, so I apologise in advance if it's not very good. Um, I'll do my best. So the first thing is to get your guitar in the right tuning. So this song uses open D tuning, so that means the 6th string is tuned down to a D, 5th string is an A, 4th string is a D, 3rd string is F sharp, 2nd uh, string is A, and 1st string is D. Um, so together that makes a D chord. Um, to play along to the recording you'll need a capo and you have to put it on the 4th fret. Ok, so there are basically um, two parts to the song that you need to learn. Um, the part that's played in the verses and the part that's played in the chorus. Um, and it just repeats. So. Ok, so we'll start with the uh, verse. Um, so Throughout quite a lot of the song, um, your thumb will be playing on the 6th string, just like continuously on the beat. And the tune is played uh, often like on the off beat. Okay, so it starts um, so with your thumb and um, the third st open 3rd string played together. And then you'll need to hammer on with your first finger on the third string onto the first fret. So when I talk about the frets, I, I'll always talk about it in relation to the capo. So it's uh, first fret up from the capo. Okay, and then so your thumb is playing on the beat, and the tune will be off the beat, and the tune is um, it's going to be the open second string. And then you keep your first finger on the first fret and play that third string, and then it will be open third string. So together it sounds like. And then the next little bit, um, the rhythm is the same. Um, so you'll put your middle finger on the second fret on the fourth string and play that together with the with um, the 6th string, then it's uh, the open 3rd string, and then keeping your middle finger on the 2nd fret, it's the 4th string, and then open 4th string, so... So those two bits together sound like this. finger on the 2nd uh, fret on the 5th string and play together with the 6th string. Then it's uh, going to be the open 4th uh, string, open 2nd string, uh, then it'll be open 3rd, so... And then, um, if you keep your second finger uh, on that second fret and um, play together with your thumb on the sixth string you're going to slide up to the fourth fret so it'll be like um, and then it's the open fourth string and then open first string and then I think open seventh string so That all together sounds like and then the last little bit it's um it's so your thumb stops doing that continuous bass note and you so you play once with your thumb on the sixth string and then you play the second and third strings together. 
thumb again, and then it's uh, third string, fourth string, first string, thumb, third string, fourth string, so. basically it for the verse so all together it sounds like okay and then the chorus is um, a little bit more difficult um, so it starts with your middle finger on the 5th fret on the 1st string. Um, so that's 1st string, 6th string, uh, open 6th string, uh, open 3rd, open 4th. And then you'll put your little finger on the 7th fret on the 1st string. Sixth string, third string, fourth string again. And then you'll put your first finger on the fourth fret, on the first string. So, so sixth, then it's a sixth string. Oh, I'm going to have to play it to remember. Yeah, so then it's um, second and third string open together. Sixth string, open third, open fourth. And then you'll have to get your um, hand into this chord shape, which is um, first finger on the fourth string on the fifth fret, and then these two fingers uh, on the third and second strings on the seventh fret. So that makes this nice. 7th chord um, and hi okay sorry my camera for some reason stopped recording so hopefully it won't do that again so I think we were at the chorus we were playing this chord um, all right so we were saying it's um, the second string and fifth string fourth string third string and the open first string, fifth string, fourth string, third string, so. And then it's uh, with your thumb on the open sixth string, and then open second and third string, so. And then it's sixth string, uh, third string, fourth string. So the chorus bit sounds like this um little bit it's a bit different so it's um, sixth string and fourth sh open fourth string together and you then hammer on with your middle finger onto the second fret and that's the open third so. and then the uh, next bit is a bit tricky because you have to um, you play the open third string and then as you hammer on to the first fret with your first finger, that's when you play the bass note, so it's like... Uh, and 
then it's open second string, uh, and it's keep your first finger on the first fret and play that third string, and then it's open third string. strings again, so 6th string, 2nd and 3rd together, thumb, 6th string, 3rd string, 4th string, 1st string, thumb, 3rd, 4th, 2nd, thumb, 3rd, 4th, so that last bit was basically all the elements that you need to play the song, more or less. So if we just play it all together, like the verse going into the chorus. Um. during that chorus you can add like a bit of vibrato on that chord um, and you might have noticed whilst I was playing it like maybe I messed up the, like the open strings a bit but the nice thing about this open D tuning is that it doesn't really matter because it all just sounds like a nice chord um, so yeah if you mess up the fingering a bit that doesn't matter um, Okay, so that was it. I uh, hope that was helpful. Thank you for watching.